Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Net Underground. So last episode we made our first voyage into the big unknown or whatever it was called. And now I'm just trying to find my way back to where we got that more than pointless quest. Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Ah, yeah, we were trying to get down. <coughs> to get Marble Boy as marbles when I found the <coughs> alchemist. Which apparently doesn't mean the same as a guy that makes chemical solutions as I first thought it would. This is where he was, right? Yep, yeah. alright. Let's see if we can go help. Okay, let's try not to do that anymore. Not gonna touch any buttons until we get to the other side. See if we can actually make that work. Yeah, it works. A key. Why do I have that sudden feeling that I'm gonna get shocked? Paranoid is setting in, huh? Hey, found a light bulb. And we opened up a gate. <coughs> Doesn't help us with our marble adventure though, so we need to go to the left and then down for those. Not through here though. Yep, does go through here. Blech. Man, like I said, I really wish I could have let that map be on forever. Even if it was just a mini map or something, but not having to hit the Y button on my control every time would go a long way. Oh, great. Right, so we go down here. And then down again. And to the right, where we find yet another gate. <sighs> all right, all right, I'll play your stupid game down some more. Too bad Green Fairy from 50 episodes ago couldn't find his magic tool, huh? Wonder whatever happened to that guy. Right, we're not getting up here. That's a s certainty. We can get up here, though. Still doing great on the scenery, guys. Keep it up. Well, probably finished by now, otherwise I wouldn't be playing this game, but you know what I'm saying. Right, that's one marble at least. And we can carefully venture down in the hopes of finding a way in for the other one. Yeah! Alright. Let's hope he only needs two. Because there's the other one. He was up there. There you go, Marble Boy. Found some protective marbles for you. Thank you. You will keep. You will need something that keeps you safe as well. We could act. Actually, use some like Chris guards for me. She climbs a lot because she doesn't have wings like me. Let me guess, it's another stone. This will keep you safe from pretty much anything the universe decides to throw at you. A flower, just hold on to it, okay? Yeah, flowers. They um, well known for their uh, <coughs> defensive capabilities. 
Boy, surrounded by idiots, right? Alright, is there any way I could make it up there? No. That means it's a one-way trip. Uh, so let's go back in here and finally see what this area is all about. Taking us long enough. Alrighty then. Try not to fall into the hole on the next one. Ah, oh, we're close to a bell, and guess what? Here's another leech for ya. What did you want? Flowers. How many do you want? Let's just cut it. something to yourself before it can be something for others. See? Ten. Five. Go for it! Oh. Now, how many coins? Right, well, we found the next leech. Kind of the way it always goes, right? We've gotten used to it. We've gotten used to it. Come on, I can get up here, right? Don't, don't. Ah, another portal to the evil dimension. Right, well. So many ways to go, let's just go up, see how high it goes on this end. There's a dude. He's not too talkative about the whole ordeal. Uh, another city. Well, kind of. Let's see if there's any one of these who is willing to chat. Nope. Maybe for the best. Oh, we're getting close to our final leech. Let's see if we can get to him. I think we could. There we go. Alright, so no leeching here, but another way through. Somewhere at least. see what the point of that was, but whatever. Don't really see a way to get through this. Ah, okay, he stops. There's an important part. Really? A millisecond too soon? There we go. 
So the bell's on this side. I don't think there would be a secret path through. That would be too convenient, wouldn't it? Um, guessing up. Well, there's a path to the right, so who knows? Kind of got the feeling I'm going to get run over. Oh, no, it's that thing again. No, 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 not yet. Blue stuff. Why would I need blue stuff? Um, don't know. I hope I don't need it here for anything. No. Well, still. Still don't need it. Still don't need it. Nope. Don't think blue stuff is going to be able to help me out on this one. Right, well, we've seen quite a f bit. Let's go down there and see if that's the path to uh, the bell. Ah, oh, it's this thing. Ah, oh, screw it. Let's go. And we can't open our map in this area. Right, right, right. There's a way out. And it doesn't get us to crazy professor town, so it's all good with me. Where the hell am I? It's not, it's not even on the map. Where the f what the fudge is going on? Did my map just break or what? Oh no, more of this stuff. No, 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 no. If there's any, any, no chance to avoid it, huh? No chance to avoid it. Well, that's ooh, green thing. You probably have. Strange, this place doesn't feel cold and empty like the rest of the Utopia. Since when did Utopia feel cold and empty? Saying You're saying it wrong, it's Utopioka. You can't fool me, Silja, what kind of name would that be? What do you got? When I first arrived here, this was just an ordinary cave, but using my yoga, yoga powers, really? I turned it into what you see here, and now you two could learn the power of yoga. She seems to be a bit more comfortable in this place, so... Used to do yoga, but I never knew it's that powerful. Please teach me. There used to be this light. It would step into... I don't actually know where it is now. Either way, I want to see your real form. Actually, this is my real form. That's it. Nothing... Nothing else, huh? This is where that ends. Then we go down and hope we don't end up in crazy professor town. We aren't going anywhere now. There's gotta be a way out of this, right? I mean Where the shits am I going and why can't I go there? Is something changing on this room? Because I don't remember there being that much light here. The hell? Am I trapped in this? Come on, you weird pony. Help me out here. Show me your form and talk to me. <coughs> Wait, do you mean me? She can transform into a ball, but that's not her real form. You're the ball who I bestowed my yoga powers upon. I no longer sense this power inside you. Now you can only turn into a sprite. That's disappointing. The power I gave you is much better. As you must have noticed, Utopia has changed since you visited a thousand years ago. Utopioka. I mean, Utopioka changed. 
So these days you can't stay in Utopioka too long. Sooner or later this place pushes you out. When it happens, you end up at different random places in the underground. So I can help you take this owl mask with it. You can stay in Utopia as long as you'd like. The map will even work. I play, I'm afraid this place is one of Utopia's exits. You need to find another way back. And then there was a map. Great, we actually accomplished something. All right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. There's a white button to get rid of a gate, so let's just do that straight away. Good thing we found purple pony person. Now if we can get out of these tiny tiny corridors then I'd be even more excited. Never was a big fan of mazes. Would like to get out of here now. Really? Okay, so is there another way to go here? No. No. <laughs> get me out of here. Exit, and not where I came in. Ah, oh. that's better. Hey, hey, hey! Fine, we'll leave you for some other day. In the meantime, let's get that direction. Want to see what's in that middle thing? That means going up and then to the left on the next screen, which is perfectly possible. Hmm. Nothing too interesting, huh? Can we go down here somewhere? Yes. See if we can go talk to our mystery lady. It's strange that the gate's there if we can just bypass it. Come on, lady. What's up with the gate? How'd you get here? This place is blocked by a door. Are you here to learn magic? You should speak to Francine. I'm just her apprentice. Great. Right, now we're getting into magic. That's going to be a doozy for Syl. Or whatever she's called. Sylvia. Heard about you. You're not the wizard. Or is it the witch? Mage. I'm Francine. You came here to learn the arch of magic. Teleportation! Yeah, that would be convenient. Yeah, bits of an awkward power though. Really? Doesn't teleport to the clothes you wear. Well. Only pixies teleport with their clothes. I wish somebody had told me before. Wait, I don't want to remember that. Invisibility then, I mean, that's okay. Even if it doesn't work. Why would I want an invis invis in invisibility? Look. Doesn't work on the contents of your digestive tract. Why would I care about the invincibility of my food that I just ate? Maybe you should recommend a power. Sure, first things, what do you want? Awaken. Huh? That was a spell. I cannot teach anyone who's still about metaphorically asleep. So I can cast spells now. Another of you already possesses the gift, though I can sense it. Sprite, there's a door here. Go it, to it and speak out. Toggle state. You need to say it out aloud. Toggle state, you're kidding. Sounds crazy, I know it, but it works on anything that has two states. A door, for example, can be either closed or open. So does your mouth. Ain't gonna work for more than one reason. Me, is just try it, it'll work. No, you don't understand. Silence!
Well, this was a waste of time, wouldn't you say so? <clears throat> Where the hell am I? There I am. And there's something on the left here? No, there's something... There is something here, so let's go check it out again. Brick sprite didn't work. Did the sprite see it right? It's, she's mute. Lift curse. So it wasn't because of a curse then. Well, I'll leave you know that now. Magic requires one to speak. It's a shame because I can sense ancient power and powerful magic within you. Uh, not a believer. Awaken. Focus on that pile of bricks behind you and speak out. Shape shift. No. Wow, it's a crowd that forms into a pile of bricks and into an identical pile of bricks. I can see them on. Yeah, yeah. I can punch her for you, but I don't see how that's gonna help out. There's nothing here, right? But it still has that question mark on it, meaning there is something to do here. Maybe if I go out here again, maybe that'll... So Blue Fairy possesses magical power, now try opening that door again. Nope. It would be so great if that door actually opened with those words now. Well, that does it. And there's a save point right here. If that's not convenient, then I can't tell what is anymore. Right, well, thank you guys for watching. I'm hoping you're still enjoying the series. Feel free to support by commenting, liking, and or selling if you haven't already. And I will see you guys on the next episode. Bye, everyone.